Hey guys, I'm down here in the Ridge and Valley portion of Maryland again today. It's pretty cold up where I live. It's actually still pretty cold down here and it's almost 11 o'clock and it's about mid 60s. Uh, so not the greatest weather for reptiles, but I'm gonna keep looking around. It's pretty rainy right now, but maybe get some amphibians and maybe some reptiles later today once it warms up. But I'll let you know when I find the first herp. All right, just found the first herp, actually underneath the first log that I flipped. This is a big female long-tailed salamander. It looks like she actually has eggs. You can kind of see at the bottom of her belly, it's real white. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, I've been finding a lot of these this summer for some reason, so it must be a pretty good year for them. But I'm gonna put the log back over, uh, put her back underneath of it, and we're gonna keep on searching. Just stumbled upon the first reptile of the day. Little Eastern box turtle. It's a pretty one too, really pretty shell. That's cool, that was one thing that I was hoping to find today and I'm actually surprised they're out moving since it's kind of cooler. But that's neat. There she goes, closing up in her box, and that's how they get their name, box turtle, because they can actually enclose all of themselves within their shell. That's neat. Well, I'm gonna take some photos of her and I'm gonna let her go on her way. All right, just made it back to the car. It's still pretty rainy uh, and still pretty cool outside, so I didn't think it was worth the effort to keep on searching where I'm at. But I think I'm going to go do some road cruising, wait for the weather to warm back up a little bit, maybe start seeing some herps, and then maybe I'll go take another walk once the temperature gets a little bit hotter, and I think the reptiles will be out then. But I'll let you guys know if I get anything road cruising. All right, just caught the first snake of the day. This is a northern water snake. Just flipped them underneath that big rock right there. But I've been hiking up this stream uh, for a while now and I've only seen one pickerel frog and this guy. So it's been pretty slow today. It's still pretty cool. I think we're approaching into the 70s. Uh, so it's going to start getting better later in the day, I think. But this guy's pretty cool. Probably going to take a couple photos of him and then I'm going to let him go right back underneath his rock. All right, here's the next herp species of the day. This is a Fowler's toad, which is one of the two true toad species we have here in Maryland. Uh, they get more common the farther you go down east, but the county I'm in right now is actually the farthest west county that you can get them in Maryland. So that's pretty cool. Um, probably gonna let this guy go, hop on his way, maybe take a couple photos. But we're gonna keep walking back to the car uh, down this creek and see if we can find anything else. All right, next herp of the day is a wood frog. This guy you can see right there was nice and gray. That looks like an old scar. So something must have tried to eat him at one point in time. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna let this guy go and we're gonna keep on searching. All right, guys, I think that I'm gonna head back up to the mountains. It's 65 degrees here and it's already past three o'clock, uh, which was supposed to be in the upper 70s by this time today, but the fog really set in. So I think I'm gonna truck it back up toward my house and maybe flip some boards around the house and hopefully we can squeeze out one or two more herps today. All right, guys, I'm back up here in the mountains again. Uh, I'm at my house and just flipped a rock, big rock snake garden from my last video, I think. 
and I slipped eight ringnecks underneath of it and I was only able to grab two of them. They went scurrying everywhere. So a couple more rocks and I think a couple of them went underneath of these rocks. Uh, so I'm gonna flip those and then see how many more I can catch. Just flip two more ringneck snakes underneath the next rock on the pile. I don't know how well you can see it, but this one on the left hand side, he's almost brown. Which is interesting. Uh, I think he looks more brown than what I'm seeing on the camera right now. Actually, when I flipped him over, I thought it was going to be a different species of snake. That's pretty cool though. Uh, I'm going to keep flipping a couple more rocks and see how many more we can get out from them. All right, here's the next snake that I flipped. This is an Eastern garter snake. This guy's pretty pretty. He has in between the scales on the side, uh, I don't know well, how well you can see it, but he kind of has bluish greenish there on that side looks better. Bluish greenish scales, which is pretty awesome. Um, also under here, there was two other ringneck snakes. So out of the two, rock piles i ended up getting i think 11 snakes uh, about half of the ring necks i didn't get on camera i have one more in the bucket which i'll show you guys next actually there he is crawling out of the bucket i just gonna let him go um so i'm gonna let this guy go maybe take a couple photos of him and that'll probably do it for here All right, everyone, I uh, just made it home and I already checked out the snake garden that I have behind me. I uh, didn't find any snakes, so that'll probably do it for the video. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.